This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. Some users prefer to locate the motor on the outside of the cooling tower, away from the humid airstream. Marley Cooling Tower Duty Motors are designed to withstand either environment. On towers with a motor outside airstream, or MOA option, the motor, motor support, and drive shaft are installed and aligned on site. Some fan alignment is also required. Be sure to use nylock nuts for all stainless steel fasteners. Lock washers are only required for galvanized fasteners. On stainless steel towers, hardware that attaches directly to the tower is also stainless steel. All remaining hardware is galvanized. Stainless steel bolts are prone to galling. Generously apply thread lubricant Z21 to the threads of stainless steel bolts before tightening nuts. Be sure to watch episode 3, Necessary Hardware, for more information on procedures to organize hardware prior to installation. Refer to the installation drawing in the installation manual that shipped with the NC cooling tower. A sample drawing is shown here. First, assemble the motor support platform. Attach support clips M35 to support rails M29 or M36. Next, insert end gusset M34 into each rail and attach them with the included hardware as shown. Install bottom plate M45 to the bottom of the support rails. Now attach the entire support assembly to the outside of the cooling tower as shown. Finally, install motor supports M25 and or M26. Once the motor platform and supports are fully secured to the cooling tower, you're ready to install the motor. Install the motor to the motor support. Use the find numbers in the installation manual that shipped with the NC cooling tower to identify the correct hardware for your motor frame. Next, coat the motor shaft, gear reducer drive shaft, and bores of the drive shaft yokes with lubricant Z21. Before installing the drive shaft, be sure the motor and gear reducer are on level bases and that their shafts are reasonably aligned. Slide drive shaft coupling guard M30 around the drive shaft M28 and install and align the drive shaft as outlined in the drive shaft user manual. If the drive shaft is out of alignment, use the included shims, part number Y56, at the motor or gear reducer end as required to align the drive shaft. Caution: Excessive force when installing the drive shaft could damage gear reducer seals. See the drive shaft user manual for installation instructions. After the drive shaft is installed, slide the motor coupling guard toward the hole in the tower casing, leaving a quarter inch gap between the guard and the motor. Use the guard clips as templates to drill two 3 16 of an inch diameter holes in the guard and attach to clips. For more information on drive shaft alignment, refer to the drive shaft user manual in our drive shaft alignment video. Some fan adjustments are necessary after the motor is installed. Marley fan blades arrive pitched to the project specifications. However, the fan blade tip clearance, tip track, and fan tilt must be checked and adjusted in the field. To check fan tilt, select one fan blade and rotate it once fully around the perimeter of the cylinder while measuring the distance from the fan deck down to the fan blade. The fan tilt is considered acceptable as long as this distance is within one inch all the way around the cylinder. To adjust the fan blade tilt, shim the gear reducer while keeping it in alignment with the motor. To check tip tracking, select a point on the fan cylinder and slowly begin rotating the entire fan. As each fan blade passes the point you selected, measure the distance between the fan blade tip and the cylinder. All fan blade tips should be within plus or minus one eighth of an inch of the same distance from the cylinder. If any tips are not within this tolerance, recheck the blade, blade attachment, and fan pitches. The cooling tower must be plumb and the cylinder must be centered around the fan to provide proper tip clearance. 
Using the longest blade on your fan, rotate the fan once completely around, checking all around the cylinder for tip clearance. Be certain each blade is in its furthest out position. The fan's blade tips should clear the inside of the cylinder by a half inch, plus or minus one eighth of an inch, at any given point of rotation. Fan blade tip clearance issues can be resolved by adjusting the position of the gear reducer within the cylinder, or by adjusting the fan cylinder. After fan alignment is complete, recheck the drive shaft alignment as outlined in the drive user manual. For more information on fan blade pitch, refer to the fan user manual and our fan blade pitch adjustment video. After the drive shaft alignment and fan adjustments have been made, refer to figure five in your manual, shown here. This figure shows a close coupled motor, but the hardware details are the same. Tighten each motor and gear reducer fastener to five to 10 foot pound less than the specified torque. Then retighten to its specified torque. After tightening, apply thread locking compound Z05 to all bolt threads. Lastly, on towers with a series 2000, 2200, 2400, or 3000 gear reducer, drive pins are required. These pins are essential because they securely lock the gear reducer in place after all alignments have been made. Using the pilot holes in the gear reducer feet, drill two 23 64 of an inch diameter holes through the support and install drive pins Y55. The drive pins should project an equal distance above the gear reducer foot and below the tower support. For more video help installing a Marley NC cooling tower, watch the additional videos in this series. Thanks for watching.